Hey guys, this is Austin. After three years, Apple has finally released a new iPod Touch, but is it worth it? Pick up the iPod, and the first thing you'll notice is just how slim it is. Coming in at a millimeter thinner than the already sleek iPhone 6, the iPod Touch looks just as good as ever. Design-wise, it's basically unchanged, which means it looks a lot like a smaller iPhone 6, from the protruding camera lens to the port layout. Apple dropped the dubiously useful iPod Touch loop and added a few new colors, including space gray and gold, but otherwise it's very similar. We've still got a solid 4-inch retina display like the iPhone 5 and 5S, and a standard home button instead of Touch ID, which is a bit of a shame. The real change though is inside. The iPod is now rocking the Apple A8 processor from the iPhone 6, which means it should be way faster than the last generation. Run Geekbench and you'll see it's basically on par with the iPhone 5S and a full 5 times faster than the last iPod. For gaming performance and 3D Mark, again there's a big advantage over last generation and it even narrowly outperforms the 5S. In real use, the iPod is absolutely snappy. Apps and multitasking fly, and with it running iOS 8.4 out of the box, you've got a couple new additions like health to track your fitness. Gaming is rock solid as well, with demos like Epic Zen Garden really showing off the power that's lurking under the hood. Demanding titles like Vainglory are no problem for the iPod, as are lighter, fun games like Leo's Fortune. It might not be a dedicated game console, but the new iPod Touch handles games as well, if not better than the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. There's also a new 8 megapixel camera, and this is another big step forward. Apple tends to put good cameras in the iPhone, and the iPod Touch is no exception. Things are really nicely detailed, even with the relatively low megapixel count. Even without turning on HDR, the iPod does a good job of capturing a lot of dynamic range, and it renders color nicely with the tiniest amount of depth of field for things like portraits. Video comes out at 1080p, and it's good. It lacks the smooth autofocus of the iPhone 6, but it has the same impressive stabilization. It also has 120 frames per second slow motion, just like the 5S, which looks good for 720p video. We've also got an updated 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera for that selfie action. The new iPod Touch is also rocking Apple Music right out of the box. Just like basically all iPhone apps, it runs fine on the iPod, but while the screen is nice, the speaker falls short of an iPhone. Words Mac and gaming don't go in the same sentence, but is it possible? If you want a gaming computer, a Mac shouldn't be your first choice. But what I want to know is, can you game at all on a MacBook? At $200 for the 16GB model, the new iPod Touch is a much needed update. It might not work as a phone, but it's a big step forward in design and performance compared to anything else in this price range. If you want 90% of the iPhone experience for a third of the price, it's hard to argue with the new iPod Touch. And it just so happens that my buddy John from TLD and I are going to be giving away a pair of these. So this is going to be a Twitter exclusive giveaway, so be sure to follow us both on Twitter. We'll be announcing how to enter soon. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.